Howdy, Reed Desert Boy here. Today we're going to talk about the Henry Rifles um, 8004 model, which is better known as the Golden Boy. And it's a, in 22 a long rifle, but we'll also shoot longs and shorts. So we're going to talk about that today. So let's get started. One of the things I will say about the, the Henry Golden Boy is it's probably one of the best looking uh, firearms that I've ever seen or I've ever owned. And, uh, as I mentioned before, this model is known as H004. Now I try to take the best care of it I can out at the range. It's uh, try to keep it from getting banged up when I don't have it. And when I have it in my case, I still have it in the paper that the Henry originally gave it. And I usually try to put this cover on here to to keep it um, for the brass light uh, receiver from having any issues. Guns, let's go ahead and make sure the gun is safe. So, with a um, tubular fed magazine, one of the advantages is you can pull the tube out and put the gun down like this. And it should be, if there's any shells in here, they should come out. But also, we will go ahead and rack the act action, and we can see that in this gun, there's no rounds in there. And we'll bring that hammer back down. Overall, the, the Henry's a very nice looking uh, gun. I mean, you have this, this brass uh, magazine tube. I know one of the things I've been wanting to do from Henry is to buy an extra one. And like all magazines, I'm sure springs can kind of get tired from time to time. Why did I buy this? Well, at the time that I went back into the, the hobby of enjoying firearms, um, there was really not a lot of selection of different things. Um, was probably about eight or ten years ago when ammunition and guns and things were kind of slow. I think I mentioned that before, like when I bought my LCR, I went out to get two things. I went to get a handgun and 357 Magnum because I knew that would shoot 38s and 38 specials as well. And I ended up with the LCR because there wasn't a lot of variety of them. You know, they're mostly single action. I wanted something that was double action. Of course, I had never had a double action only, so it's a little bit of an adjustment. But in the long run, that's turned out well because that makes a, a great concealed carry option as, we, as I've talked about in other videos. Um, but sticking back to the Henry here, as I said, well, you got to have a 22, right? And I never was a big aficionado necessarily of lever actions or, you know, Western lever actions or anything. But I tell you, when I saw this one and I handled it, uh, I, I was like, you know, I really like this particular design. You know, just something about doing the lever action that's really special. Now this has a brass light receiver, is what they call it. The actual butt plate is made of brass back here. Of course, it has very little recoil, so it's, you don't really feel that as much as you would if it was a higher caliber gun. You'd really feel it. Um, it's got a semi-buckhorn sight here, and uh, maybe we'll take a couple of other up closes of it here in a little bit but basically if you were to look at it you'd see that there's a a diamond a little diamond there to help you align the rear sight and it's fully adjustable and then the uh, up here there's a brass bead up here on the front sight and I don't know if that's out of the picture it probably is here's a brass bead that's on the front sight uh, overall length of this is about 38 and a half inches the barrel's 20 inches, and if you notice, it's octagon blued steel. Um, the magazine below it uh, holds 16 rounds of uh, 22 long rifle, or about 21 of uh, shorts. Um, it's got a rate of twist of 1 in 16, and it's uh, fairly hefty for a, for a uh, 22. It's uh, 6.75 pounds, according to Henry. Um, also, you know, one of the things to be aware of is uh, uh, many of them are drilled and tapped uh, for a scope nowadays. If I look at my particular receiver, it was not. Nowadays, I notice on their website, they say they are drilled and tapped. Um, there are other options you can do with, with your sights if you want to, but this one, I kind of trying to keep it, you know, the way it was when I got it. Not so much like I did with my uh, 38357 or my 4570 where I did some modifications with the rail and things. Uh, 
for those that do have a that do have the drilled and tap part of it that you can put a scope mount on it nowadays they call it a gv csm i'm not super good on scopes i'll be honest with you i just give you that information from henry's website basically it's made out of american walnut uh, if you look at it you know it's henry repeating arms this one's made in Bayonne, new jersey made in the usa Henry likes to talk about that it's, you know, made in the USA or not made at all. And uh, that's their their slogan. Uh, and then the length of pull on this, right? And of course, the next check it says, if we check it says, right again. The length of pull on this is 14 inches. And they do make rifles that are youth rifles. They make them that make one called an Evil Roy where the barrel's a little shorter. And it's more of a silver finish, and it's kind of a cool-looking gun. Uh, some people, like uh, I have some family that you know, my my daughter, their uh, her her um, reach and things like this. And this 22 for somebody who's not a a person that uh, maybe has a big reach or likes something that's kind of heavier in the front because this barrel does get a little heavy for it being a 22. Uh, might want to get something that's a little bit shorter, it's not just a youth rifle, but like the Evil Roy, which is a carbine, and it holds 12 rounds a long rifle, so you lose four rounds of capacity, but it makes it, you know, not quite as heavy of a weapon, plus it's not brass light, it's a different material. Um, I guess the only other thing to mention is that this is mostly used for target, of course, it could be used for hunting. And uh, a lot of people like to have things like this as collectors. Of course, they have a whole series of engraved type Henry rifles that are very similar to this, but with engravings of different kind, all kinds of tribute edition, scouting, and all kinds of wildlife and things like that. Um, I particularly enjoy shooting this rifle. I'll have some footage of me shooting. I think you've already seen a little bit of it. I squeeze it in on some other videos. Uh, it is a little heavy. It can get a little heavy when you're standing up there. You know, and you're ripping through and you've got about 16 rounds that you can go through, but it is nice to have that capacity. Um, other than that, I don't know much what else to say about it, you know. Uh, when you go to load these, they have a cutout here that you can put your round in and your round slides down. And uh, then what you want to do is want to make sure when you're doing that too that the, that the action is closed usually with this of course I wouldn't let it drop like that if I had ammunition in there I just slide it in gently and then I would twist it and it locks right here and of course you're ready to go I haven't shot any 22 shorts or longs in it though I do have some when I got this gun the 22s were so short on supply the only 22s I could get were shorts so I thought why well, have a 22 with no ammunition? So I bought some. It's the only reason why I have any at all. Um, but uh, once again, I think the retail price now is about 5.78. I paid more than that when I bought mine because uh, guns were a little bit at a premium. But uh, I haven't regretted it, and of course, it's caused me to buy two other Henrys: the 45.70 and the 38.357 carbine. So. Um, I would like to get a side gate loading Henry, and I do plan eventually at some point probably to get a Marlin because I think it would be nice to have one. It's a nice series too. I know a lot of Marlin affection autos really like having side gate loading option. Um, with 22s, it's more common to have tubular magazines a lot of times. So I've kind of rambled on for a while. Uh, personally, I think this is a, it's a great option for when you're just wanting to go to the range and have fun, you know, you shoot 22s, which is pretty reasonable. Like I said, it holds pretty good capacity, so you know, be able to fire off, fire off those 16 rounds, uh, along with the Wrangler that I have. That's a more Western style, single action 22. It's a kind of a good combo. And of course, those Wranglers, you can get them in different colors. You know, at Ruger has, you get them in black, you can get them in silver, might not be silver, sir. We can get them in kind of a bronze, tungsten looking color. So, anyway, Henry 22, Golden Boy, Model 8004. Uh, you know, it's something you should consider. Uh, make sure that you, uh, you know, talk to folks. If you can, if you get a chance to shoot one, make sure lever action is something that you really want to try to do. 
be nice if you know somebody that has one so you can see what lever actions feel like. And, uh, you know, it's something that I personally really enjoy. Um, like I said, you know, there's different models. So you find a model that's right for you. As I always say, you know, make sure you do your own research, do your own investigation on what works best for you. Make sure you're following all your local, state, and federal uh, ordinances and, and gun laws. And, uh, you know, be safe out there. And, uh, you know, throw a little footage on there and we can see what it's like to shoot it. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you taking the time. Bye now. So we take a look at the Henry and we see it's a pretty long rifle. Once again, 38 and a half inches overall. But it is a nice looking rifle. With all the brass and the walnut and everything, it is very nice looking. As you can see here, I talked about that it has the, the sight and it has a diamond insert in there. Give my camera movement there, but there is a white diamond there and then down on the front there's a, a brass bead that that aligns with. Of course if we turn everything around you can see it from this side. You can see the receiver area there where the rounds eject out of. And uh, Henry's opinion on their websites is these are good for both left and right handed shooters. Of course left handed shooter it's going to eject across in front of you. But uh, doesn't seem to be a problem. These people in my family are left-handed and it seems to work fine uh, for them. But once again, the Henry Golden Boy. Overall, pretty nice looking. Pretty nice looking. Oh yeah, just one more thing. As Reed Desert Boy always says, what I like to say as Reed Desert Boy is, be safe out there, whatever you do. Please like and subscribe and let me know if you got any comments. Thanks much. Bye now.